To get you started using effects, I'd like to talk about a couple of different kinds of basic effects and explain what they do. We'll start with Mixcraft's EasyQ Equalizer. EasyQ is an equalizer with a very simple interface. Instead of selecting particular frequencies and boosting cut levels, you simply have these four sound characteristics. Dark, tinny, bright, and warm. And let's put that on our guitar track right now. And I'll move around the control. You know, here it gets thinner. And a little more hollow and bright. And more mid-rangey. And dark. The next effect I'd like to talk about is compression. Compression can be a little hard to wrap your head around, but the basic idea is that it makes quiet things louder and loud things quiet. And the reason why you'd want that to happen is because in the context of a pop song, you don't want things jumping out too much, and you don't want things getting lost beneath the other instrumentation. So compressors are a good way of controlling the dynamic range of instruments and vocals that might get lost otherwise, or might be too loud. We'll add Acoustica's compressor to my guitar track. I'm going to bypass it, and you can hear it sort of falls back into the mix a little more. With it activated, it's a little more up front, and I can even turn it down a little bit, and it still has more presence. The next effect we'll talk about is delay, sometimes known as echo. 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 A delay is simply a repeat of a sound, or multiple repeats, that are timed to the music at some sort of a musically relevant value, usually quarter notes or half notes or something that makes sense with the song. I've added a delay to my guitar track, and when I press play, let's solo that. If I bypass it, we'll hear the echoes go away. Most effects have a wet-dry balance knob that allows you to adjust the level of the affected sound versus the dry sound. So this will make our delayed sound louder and quieter. You can see where it says wet mix. And I'm really bringing it up here so the delays are loud. If you really want to go nuts, you can crank up the feedback, which gives us more repeats and more echo. The final effect I want to talk about is reverb. Reverb is similar to delay in that it represents sound echoing around in a room or space, but the difference with reverb is that you don't really hear discrete repeats. You hear it more as a smear of sound in a room, like when you're in a large gymnasium or a concert hall. So let's have a listen to our guitar track with reverb on it. This isn't a really large space, but if I hit the edit button, we can adjust the size of the space. And you can hear the decay is much longer. We'll turn up the wet mix. 